throughout the day, not the actual timing of those nutrients. And that's important. I will say in terms of fasted training, there is some good work out of Copenhagen and they look at low glycogen state training, training low. And it seems that there's an increase in interleukin-6 mm -hmm. and that can help with um, substrate utilization. It seems that there is a more robust release of interleukin-6. So that's a myokine, as you know, and, and for the listener. But again, I think that's fascinating. I don't know if it is going to have meaningful outcomes because these myokines are released based on intensity, duration of training. But I did think that that's interesting, that training in a low glycogen state may change the release of these myokines. Yeah. But I will say, if you are looking for performance, it seems if performance is the outcome, for example, you're gonna go run a marathon, yeah. perhaps fasted training might not be ideal if you are pregnant probably also not ideal or if you're trying to get pregnant all physical activity is good and i think a lot of the issues with, with some of this messaging is that it's just making things so complicated and so people don't know what's good and what's bad and when to eat and when to exercise or how to exercise we need to be stressing efficacy simplicity and sustainability let's talk about things that work and that people will continue to do long term because that's what's beneficial for body composition and that's what's beneficial for